peace be to you. Let me tell you a secret and you can tell everyone about it. Islam does not come from Allah but from Muhammad himself. I will prove that Allah is a dumb God. Allah never says, I am Allah, whenever you are praying to me, you should prostrate towards the Qibla of Mecca, where my spirit resides in the Kaaba. If any Muslims can point out to me that either Allah or Gabriel really said, prostrating, before the Kaaba is as good as prostrating before me, then I will be guilty of deception. All Muslims are guilty of idolatry, because Yahweh God has not spoken, that to prostrate to any physical object is as good as prostrating before him. Nowhere in the Quran, Allah said to Muhammad, I am Allah, prostrate towards the Qibla or the direction of Mecca for praying to me. And nowhere in the Quran, Angel Gabriel said to Muhammad, I am Gabriel, a messenger of Allah. The name Gabriel carries the name of El Shaddai which means God Almighty. Why are Muslims simply making up the statement, that Allah told Muhammad to prostrate towards the Qibla of the sacred masjid or mosque, when Allah never instruct Muhammad to build a mosque in 623 AD? Allah did not say, I am Allah, Kaaba is my sacred masjid because it was a house of some 360 idols of gods and goddesses including Al-Lot, al and Manat between 480 and 629 AD. Can Muslims tell the difference between Masjib and Kaaba Black Cube? Masjib has a dome and minaret, whereas Kaaba was a pagan shrine with a flat top similar to Sanchi Temple of the Hindu during the reign of Chandragupta II, also called Vikramaditya a powerful emperor between 380 AD and 415 AD. The Kaaba in Mecca was not built by Abraham and Ishmael the Hebrews, based on Quran, Saba 34 verse 44 to 45, Al-Qazis 28 verse 46, Al-Sajda 32 verse 2 to 3 and Hud 11 verse 49, which collectively confirms that no scripture and no warner were sent to the forefathers of Muhammad prior to him in order to build a sacred masjid. So whoever is calling the Kaaba is the sacred masjid of Allah must be a man, not God. To Ur is human, perfect is divine. There is a common similarity between the Holy Bible and the Quran, that none can change the words of God Almighty. This criterion is the benchmark to determine as to who really says, prostrate towards the Kibble of Mecca for prayer. Quran Surah 18 verse 27 says, and recite and teach. What has been revealed to thee of the book of thy Lord, none can change his words, and none wilt thou find as a refuge other than him. Unquote Yusuf Ali translation. But why Muslims dare to say that the Torah and the Gospel have been changed, when Quran Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 3 says it was Allah who revealed those former books, which are his words indeed. The real reason for Muslims to employ a lying tongue is that Quran is irreconcilable as compared to the Holy Bible in respect of the direction of prayer used by the Jews. If the Muslims acknowledge the Holy Bible is pure and true, Islam will be exposed as an Arabian cult within a minute. All Muslims live in fears, because the precedent laws will expose the forgery of the Quran. In Deuteronomy 18 verse 20, Yahweh said to Moses, But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name Yahweh, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other Elohim, even that prophet shall die. Unquote whoever prophesies presumptuously in the name of Yahweh or in any name other than Yahweh, that prophet shall be put to death. Muhammad definitely did not pass the basic test of the Torah of God Almighty. As a preemptive defense against mass conversion from Islam to Christianity, the successors of Muhammad or the Muslims have employed a lying tongue, to hold the illiterate Arabs in bondage. Proverbs 6 verse 16 to 19. There are six things that Yahweh hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Proverbs 12 verse 9. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Quran Surah Al-Imran 3 verse 3 says, It is he Allah who send down to thee step by step, in truth, the book, confirming what went before it, and he send down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus before this, as a guide to mankind, and he send down the criterion. Hence, 
Muslims who accuse that the Torah and the Gospel have been falsified by the scribes are disputing with Quran Surah 18 verse 27, whereby Muhammad recited none can change his words. Allah did not say, no one can change the Quran. Logically, the holy scripture of the preceding prophets must be confirmed by a later prophet after him. The Torah of Moses was confirmed by Prophet Joshua. The Book of Psalms and other prophets were confirmed by Lord Jesus Messiah. The prophethood of Jesus Messiah was confirmed by Prophet John ben Zechariah also known as John the Baptist. The Gospel of Jesus was confirmed by Prophets Jude and Silas. Acts 15 verse 32 says, And with abundant discourse they strengthened the brethren, and the associates of Jude and Silas established them, because they also were prophets. Having said that, Muhammad himself recited from Quran Almeida 5 verse 44 saying it was we who revealed the law to Moses, therein was guidance and light. If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are unbelievers. Furthermore, Muhammad recited from Quran Almeida 5 verse 47, saying, Let the people of the Gospel judge, by what Allah has revealed therein. If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are those who rebel. Unquote Yushaf Ali translation. Muslims who accuse that the former scriptures of the Torah of Moses, Psalms of David, and the Gospel of Jesus have been falsified, except the Quran, are no better than pagan Quraysh folk, who built the Kaaba for idolatry, before the Quran was written. But the Quran is not yet confirmed by any recognized prophet of Yahweh God. Allah of the Quran cannot qualify the precedent law of Yahweh God. Muslims often claim that Allah told Muhammad as to how to pray to him by prostrating towards the Qibla in Mecca. But nowhere in the Quran, Allah explicitly said to Muhammad, I am Allah, prostrate before the Qibla in Mecca, for praying to me. Let's examine the Quran al-Baqarah 2 verse 144 as to whether the terms Allah or Mecca are specified in the Quran. All words came forth from Muhammad, since he was the first person who said those words, we see the turning of thy face to the heavens, now shall we turn thee to a kibble that shall please thee. Turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque, wherever ye are, turn your faces in the direction. The people of the book know well that that is the truth from their Lord, nor is Allah unmindful of what they do. Unquote Yushaf Ali translation. Literally, Muslim commentator said that the change of Qibla took place in Medina about 18 months after Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina in 622 AD. But the Kaaba in Mecca was occupied by some 360 idols of gods and goddesses including Alat, Alutza and Manat, in 400 AD until 629 AD. How could Kaaba black cubicle idol of 13.1 meters high be called a sacred mosque? when it was not built with the specifications from God Almighty and it was occupied by some 360 idols, when the change of Kibbala was reportedly spoken in 623 AD. Will Allah be so ridiculous to call the pagan Kaaba built without his given scripture, the sacred masjid? Kaaba in Mecca was not built by Abraham and Ishmael the Hebrews, based on Quran Saba 34 verse 44 to 45, Al-Qazis 28 verse 46. Asajda 32 verse 2 to 3 and Hud 11 verse 49. All Muslims have been misled to believe in the lies of the Arabian, whoever is the author of the Quran. At this juncture, since Muslims proclaim Muhammad is the prophet of Allah, then he is the main suspect, to have fabricated the Quran with falsehood on the use of Qibla. Literally, the narrator in the Quran did not say prostrate towards the Qibla of the sacred mosque for praying to Allah. It only says, turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque. Obviously, Muhammad had misunderstood the directive of the narrator, as the place Mecca is not mentioned in this passage. Logically, it should be taken as Jerusalem city for the simple reason, that the people of the book has been called as, witnesses for God Almighty. It is logical, that the people of the book will endorse that Allah has implied the sacred mosque is the Kaaba in Mecca. Levi Ticus 26 verse 1 Yahweh said, Ye shall make you no idols nor grave an image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, to prostrate to it, for I am Yahweh your Elohim. The Torah of Moses is crystal clear, 
that prostrating before the Kaaba cube of 13.1 meters high is forbidden under the precedent law. Jesus Messiah declared that none could change the law until he fulfilled it. This implies the Torah of Moses is not falsified at the time of Christ. Matthew 5 verse 18 Jesus said, For verily I say to you, that until heaven and earth shall pass away, one iota or one letter shall not pass from the law, until all shall be fulfilled. Once again, I call upon all Muslims to read the Quran over and over again in respect of Quran al kaf chapter 18 verse 27 as to, whether God allows anyone to change his words? Quran Surah 18 verse 27 says, And recite and teach, what has been revealed to thee of the book of thy Lord, none can change his words, and none wilt thou find as a refuge other than him. Unquote Yushaf Ali translation. In short, Quran says, none can change his words. As the book of Leviticus was written before Christianity and Islam came along, it is impossible for the Christians to interpolate the Torah with such precedent law. However, the term, turn one's face in the direction of the sacred mosque does not mean prostrating before the structure of the mosque. It merely means to face the direction of the holy site, which Abraham built the altar of stones on Mount Moriah in Jerusalem. Muhammad cannot be a true prophet of Yahweh God, because he spoke in the name of Allah, which is a violation of the Torah. Quran merely says, Turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque, but it does not mention prostrate nor the specific location of the sacred mosque. It is unlikely to be Mecca, since the Kaaba was occupied by some 360 idols of gods and goddesses, and that the narrator says the people of the book know well that that is the truth from their Lord. The people of the book like the Jews have never changed the direction of prayer, to depart from the Solomon Temple once built upon the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Even the Western Wall is believed to be the sacred site of Solomon Temple and the Jews are merely facing the wall for praying to Yahweh God, as the Ark of the Covenant was once placed beyond the wall. None of the Jews is prostrating before the Western Wall in Jerusalem. Facing before the mirror to comb one's hair is not idolatry lest all mirrors should be deemed idols. Foremost, to prostrate before the Kaaba in Mecca is a total violation of the Torah of Moses and it is Kaaba idolatry. None can change the words of God Almighty and the Quran merely says turn your face in the direction of the sacred mosque, which does not mean Mecca, as Kaaba was originally a pagan shrine. When Muhammad and his followers migrated from Mecca to Medina, the new Muslim place of worship was located in Medina and no longer in Mecca. Either Muslims have misunderstood the Quran or Allah did not speak to Muhammad at all. In fact, nowhere in the entire book of the Quran, Allah said to Moses the Hebrew personally, I am Allah, because Allah just told the narrator in Quran Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse 4, that he never sent a messenger other than, in the language of his folk. Hence it is impossible for Allah, to say to Moses the Hebrew in Arabic word Allah or Sanskrit Allah. This proves that Quran Surah Toha chapter 20 verse 14, Surah the Ant chapter 27 verse 9, Surah the Story chapter 28 verse 30 are all fabricated statements of the author of the Quran. The precedent law of Yahweh God has specific commandments on the name of the temple site, specific name of God and specific names of prophets, who used it for worship and prayer. Lord Jesus Christ had revoked the Kibbutz of prayer, since it is no longer in Jerusalem neither in Samaria. In John chapter 4 verse 21 to 23, Jesus said to a Samaritan, Woman, believe me, the hour comes, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour comes, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeks such to worship him. Unquote Muslims have deviated from the commandment of Lord Jesus Christ, who told his disciples to worship his Father, not Allah, in spirit and in truth. In short, the kibble of prayer was revoked by Lord Jesus Christ, as he did not say the true worshippers will seek the Father in Jerusalem to worship him. Muslims have invoked the pagan name Allah, that is not given by Allah himself, and have accused that Allah allowed his words in the Torah and the Gospel to be falsified, even though it is said otherwise in Quran chapter 18 verse 27. 
May Yahweh God heal the spiritual blindness of the Muslims, and remove their stubbornness today in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, so that they may behold the truth, that the pre-Islamic word Allah is forbidden under the Torah and their prayer direction is never sanctioned by God Almighty. That Muslims should stop lying against Yahweh God, that he allowed his words in the Torah and Gospel to be changed. To conclude, Allah never says, I am Allah, prostrate towards the sacred masjid, whenever you are praying to me. Lord Jesus Christ also did not say face Jerusalem city wherever you are, and whenever you are praying to the Father. In fact, the word Mecca is not specifically mentioned in the passage in Quran al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 142 to 146. Rome pagan city is mentioned nine times in the New Testament Bible but Mecca city, as Muslims claim to be older than Rome, is totally absent from all geography and history books until 740 AD. As Lord Jesus Christ had revoked the pilgrimage to Jerusalem city, for worshipping the Father and that the Ark of the Covenant is missing in Israel, the specific direction of prayer is no longer a mandatory practice. All these things prove that Islam does not come from Allah but from Muhammad himself. Shalom.